Hi, my name is Peter Raymer, and in our last video, we looked at how you set up Postman to call D365 data entities or D365 services. As the first step, we made a get access token call to get an access token that we need to make our subsequent calls. Um, in this video, we'll actually look at making a call into D365 to call a service. So the first step we have is we need to run our access token from our last video. When we click send, we get back an access token. This access token is actually stored in a environment variable inside of Postman for us so we don't have to uncopy and paste it each time. The next thing we need to do is create our request for calling the D365 service. I'll click new, then select service, and I'll give it a name, call service. First thing I need to do is change this to be a post request. And then the next thing I need to do is paste in the URL. This URL should look in this format right here where I have uh, the D365 URL replaced here. And then the next text should be API slash services slash the name of our service group. In my case, I'm going to call the Sys Test Services service group. And then after that, we have slash Sys Test Service. This is the name of the service that I'm calling. And then lastly, slash Get Test Run Result. This is the name of the service method that I would like to call. So I will add a little bar here and replace the text or the URL with the actual URL of my D365 environment. Next, I need to come into headers and I need to add a content type of application slash JSON because we're going to be sending in JSON. And then if I come over to the body, I'm going to paste in my body information as raw JSON. Paste it in here. I'll show you what this information means in a little bit, but basically our service method get test run result takes a parameter and that parameter name is underscore test GUID and then we need to pass it a GUID. In this case, this isn't a real value. This will just uh, return a sample value, but it can show you that our call actually works. Next, I will go back to our headers tab, and there's one more piece of information we need to type in. We need to add authorization, bearer, curly braces, curly braces, access token, access token, curly braces, curly braces, and then check the checkbox. And as long as we've typed in content type correctly, authorization correctly, um, and bear token, this access token variable will be replaced by Postman with the value in this environment variable. So again, we can select our environment by selecting our dropdown up here. We can click the eye icon to see our current value of that access token that was set when we got our access token with our previous call. And then when we click send, our system will return a 200 OK. And in this case, we're going to get a response of null um, because this data isn't actually correct. But we can see that we got a valid response when we called Microsoft Dynamics 365. Thanks very much for watching.